This video demonstrates how we can offer a hybrid cloud database as a service to Nutanix customers through Nutanix ERA. From ERA's 2.0 release, it can manage multiple clusters. These clusters could be in different availability zones. Leveraging the Nutanix clusters capability on AWS, we have a cluster running in the Frankfurt region. We also have an on-premise cluster running in Phoenix. As you can see, ERA is managing both of these clusters or availability zones. We have two database instances, one denoted by the blue color. It's a single instance Postgres database that is hosted on-premise. Its snapshots are steadily replicated to the AWS site. These snapshots could be used for backups, copy data management, or DR. We also have a three-node Postgres database whose database server VMs are provisioned using ERA across clouds. Two of its nodes are hosted in Frankfurt and the third hot standby is hosted on-premise. In case the AWS Frankfurt site goes down, the standby node on-premise could be used as a backup. Let's look at such a system and an actual demo. This is the ERA service that is managing clusters across availability zones or clouds. Let's check out the cluster configuration. We can see that ERA is managing two clusters, one in Phoenix and one through Nutanix clusters in AWS Frankfurt. Let's look at the database configuration now. ERA is managing two databases across these clouds. Let's look at the Finance DB first. It's a single instance Postgres database hosted on the on-prem Phoenix cluster, as you can see here. Let's look at its time machine configuration. We have a data access management policy configured to take snapshots on the on-premise cluster, of course, but these snapshots are also replicated to the Frankfurt cluster. These snapshots could be used for copy data management, for backup purposes, or DR. The second database in our demo is CRMDB. It's a three-node Postgres database whose database server VMs are hosted across clouds. Out of the three nodes, two of them are hosted in the Frankfurt region, and the third node, the hot standby, is hosted in Phoenix. In case the Frankfurt site goes down, the failover will occur to the Phoenix site. Let us quickly see how we can provision a database cluster across clouds. Let's use Postgres for our demo. Let's pick an HA instance. Pick a network profile. Let's pick the clusters where we want these nodes to be hosted. Let's pick the type of compute. It gives us a choice of where do we want our database server VMs to be. Let's use this as an example to create two nodes on the on-prem site and a standby node in AWS. We can also pick the database clusters for the proxy nodes. Let's leave that as the on-prem Nutanix cluster. In this section, we can pick which nodes do we want to use as failover nodes. Since our primary site is going to be hosted in Phoenix, let's use our AWS database node as a failover node. We can also choose where should the time machine be highly available in this case, let's pick both the clusters. That way the snapshots are available on both clusters in case one of the availability zone goes down. We use Postgres as our engine of choice today for the demo, but you could leverage similar capabilities for all database engines supported by ERA. For instance, you could create a SQL Server AAG cluster that is split across availability zones as well. Additionally, ERA can also manage a hybrid mix of hypervisors. So some of the clusters managed by ERA could be AHV, while some others could be ESX. That concludes our demo. Thanks for watching.